Ooh, welcome to the Halloween lesson. My name is Jack. Jack o' lantern. Do you want to find out about me? <laughs> Hello. It's Halloween. My favorite time of the year. Woo! I'm dressed like a frog. This is my costume. Not my natural attire for teaching at Ingvid. My name is Ronnie. I'm a frog today. I'm going to teach you about my favorite holiday. Halloween. You might be asking yourself, what the hell is Halloween? And why is Ronnie wearing a frog costume? What is she doing? Whew, woo, that's hot. So what I'm going to go through is what we do in Canada and in America for Halloween. The first thing and the most exciting thing that we do when we're children is we go trick or treating. So we wear a costume like this. Any costume you want, you can wear. A lot of little girls like to be princesses or witches. It's really, really up to you. It's your imagination. Let your imagination run wild. You can choose any costume you would like. Ooh. So um, what we do is we dress up in costumes and we go around our neighborhood to our houses that live, to the people that live around us, and we ring their doorbells and we go, trick or treat. And the lovely people give us candy Woo for free. We don't have to do anything. You don't have to pay the money. They just give you free candy. As a child, I loved this. As you could imagine, little Ronnie going to houses, trick or treat, give me candy. So trick or treat, trick means like a joke and treat means like a snack or candy. A long, 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 long time ago, this actually had a meaning, but we'll get to that later. As I've written down on the board too, we wear costumes, anything you want. Some people spend a lot of money on their costumes. I got mine in Japan, in Hokkaido. I think it was $12, my frog costume. Um, we wear costumes because it's fun to be another person. Usually trick-or-treating is only for children because when we get to a certain age, we can buy our own candy buy your own candy, get a job, okay? And when we get older, we still wear costumes. It's fun, we usually go to a Halloween party, people dress up, drink a lot, have fun. This thing, this guy right here, it's not a pumpkin. This is a pumpkin. A pumpkin is a fruit and it's orange or it can be green and we usually eat it, but Jack-o'-lanterns are very different. A jack-o'-lantern actually has carvings into the pumpkin. What a strange thing that you guys do, isn't it? Jack-o'-lantern is a pumpkin with the face in it. So jack-o'-lantern has the face and it's actually a pumpkin. Trick or treat. Smell my feet, give me something good to eat, is what we used to say. Let's go back in history, why? What is this? What are you doing here? We have 2,000 years ago, the Celtic people. Now these are people that lived in Ireland and Scotland in the north of France. They had a belief. It's getting hot in here, guys. That on October 31st, which is actually called All Hallows Eve, that dead people return to earth. Now, I know if you are from Japan, you have a holiday called Obon. I'm not really good with the pronunciation. You believe that your ancestors come back to earth and visit you. Um, in Mexico, arriba! What up? You guys have Day of the Dead. Again, you believe that the dead come back to the earth. This is the exact same thing 
Except in North America, we have made it so that we get candy. Same idea. So, the pronunciation of this word, ah, jeez, yeah. There's been some controversy of it. Because it is a Celtic word, it looks like it should be San Ham, but it's actually Savin. Now, there's been some debate on, is it Scottish Gaelic? Is it Gaelic? I honestly do not speak Gaelic, obviously. And I've just looked on the internet. Apparently, it's called Savin. Sometimes it's called so in. I don't know. Just called Halloween, okay? So, 2,000 years ago, Celtic people believed that dead people returned to the earth. Some of these people were good people, but some of the people were evil, bad people. So, what they would do is they would wear animal skin, like a frog, costumes, to disguise themselves so that the evil spirits didn't take their souls. So the costumes comes from people actually wearing animal skins to disguise themselves. So we've stolen this, but unfortunately we've made our costumes cute or sexy. And look, I'm a sexy pirate. Good, why don't you be a pirate with one eye that eats people, okay? Then we have trick or treat. Trick or treat happened probably after this. And a long story short, people would go to other people's houses and they would pray for their ancestors. In return, the richer people would give the poor people food. So this is how we get the door-to-door trick-or-treating. Jack-o'-lantern, this guy. Jack was apparently a real man. He was a man. He apparently had a deal with the devil that he'd sell his soul, blah, blah, blah. Selling the soul to the devil. Long story short, he tricked the devil. And he actually made it to heaven. But the powers that be above said, Oh, Jack, you're not coming into heaven. And they gave him one single coal for him to find his way to heaven. What Jack did, being a very smart gentleman, is he put the coal inside a turnip. Now, a turnip is a fruit. And it kind of looks like a vegetable. Eh, There's many different kinds of turnips, but the typical, I guess, Celtic turnip or turnip from the UK would look like this. It's a big pear. So the story goes that he put a coal, a lit coal, which would give off light inside a turnip. Now, when the people came from Ireland or from the United Kingdom to North America, they didn't have turnips. They had pumpkins. So instead of using a turnip, they used the pumpkin, carved the face, put the light in it, and ta-da, Jack. The guy's name was Jack. Devil's night, devil's night. This is the one night of the year where you can do whatever you want and not get arrested. Not true. Devil's night is a tradition. It's kind of a bad tradition. It's October 31st. This is not based on history, but it happens the night before Halloween. Halloween is every October 31st. It doesn't matter if it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's always October 31st. Devil's Night is the night before, where traditionally people go out and tis casa ruckus. They put toilet paper on buildings. They take pumpkins and they smash them! (gasps) All the time and energy that I had to make Jack perfect, smashed. Devil's Night's pretty bad. So, hopefully, now you know why I get so excited about Halloween. It's based on Celtic history. It has a meaning. And in your country, maybe you have something similar to this. Well, I'm off to steal candy from children. Goodbye.